Hi, this is Emily from Home and Decor, and I'm here with Bento Bento. So why don't you introduce yourself? Okay, sure. Thank you, Emily. Uh, hello, hi. I'm Ades from Bento Bento. I'm the creative director and also the co-founder of Bento Bento. So I'm responsible in doing the creative content and also in the future design of Bento Bento and everything that relates to design, like web design and everything design. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm Shafiq. I'm a managing director of Bento Bento. Also the co-founder. I'm managing the company in terms of uh, ordering inquiries, uh, all the orders coming in, all the inquiries coming in through emails, DMs, and WhatsApp. You know, you know, he does things that I really don't want. He does all the media stuff, yeah. right? Like, yes. Yeah. So every time I send an email, he's the one like, <gasps> usually. I have to most, answer all yeah. this. Most, most, most of the emails, yes. Most of yeah. the emails, yes. Communication <laughs> thank and you, audience. Thank you very much all for answering. All, all those cute, cute replies from her. Oh, okay. With a smiley, usually. Uh, with a okay. smiley. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I will remember that. With the heart yes. shape, everything from my dad. <laughs> Not from me. <laughs> okay. Why don't you, can you describe Bento Bento in three words? Okay, for me, Bento Bento is unique, uh, it's trendy, yet it's elegant. Okay, as for me, it's uh, edgy, concrete, and modern. Mm. Okay. Uh, can you, why don't you tell us about the Bento Bento journey? What was it like from the very beginning? And how did you get to where you are today? Alright, sure. Um, so we started off in April 2016, but of course it started way before that when I saw a picture in Pinterest uh, of a concrete planter that shaped like a pyramid. So I tried to find it here, but I couldn't find anybody selling it. Mm. So because we are like DIY lovers, so we tried to make our own. Mm -hmm. So after that, uh, we post the picture on the Instagram and our friends go like, Oh, so mad. Like, oh, are you really making this? Yeah. And they asked for a few. Of course. Yeah, of course. And yeah. friends do. Exactly, right? So we made a few of those spots and gave it away for free until we realized that probably we have a market here. Yeah. Maybe untapped market, you can say that. So we try it out uh, without much knowledge in business and also in in design, yeah. to, be, to be honest, because both of us are not from design background. I'm, I'm from IT and he's also similarly from IT as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's a very, very mathematical analysis. analysis yeah. Yeah. Well, then you need, all the, you need to get all the ratios together to yeah. mix your ingredients. Yeah, that's that, 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 so it. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Alright, so then we opened the business in April 2016. Yeah. It's only after like five months, I think, then we made our first sale. But that's after our first booth. Yeah, when yeah. people can really feel Where was your first product? Um, it was the American Association. Oh, wow. Christmas. Yeah, it's a Christmas. It's my Christmas theme. Oh. That is considered a very close. It's like a very niche. Yeah, thing. very niche. Yeah. And then the, the, the public one is, uh, was a giant one. Oh, oh, the, yeah, they have a the lot school, of them. The school. Yeah. The school. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that one is the central one. So after we expose ourselves, that only people can see. So they can feel market. the product. Yeah. They can, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But above all, we do it because we love it and yeah. we really want to experiment and have more adventure yeah. in it. So we told ourselves, I mean, if there's no sale, okay. we keep it open. Yes. Why not? Line, line, like line, your, line your house. Yeah. Yes, so for we, our we house. We still make it for our own Yeah, And we like to experiment. <laughs> okay. So, so begin. Okay, so besides Pinterest, you mentioned, where yes. else do you get your inspiration? Alright, usually I get my inspiration almost everywhere. Can believe it. <laughs> uh, like this table. Yeah. This table, yeah, it looks so similar. <laughs> yeah, right? It does, right? Yeah, it's, it's in trend now. I mean, yeah. usually I get inspiration from things around my house. Mm. Because what we do is that uh, we make something for ourselves first. Mm. Yes. So sometimes when I see all these makeup brushes lying on, on yeah. the table, I say, oh, not what nice. I need something to hold them, yeah. but something that looks nice. So I made something out of it. Yeah. So it all started with that, it becomes an inspiration. Then after that, first functionality, then after that I think about what design should I make for yes. this one. Yes. Yeah. And then that goes like, from travel and also all that. Yeah. I think it's very similar to like cooking as well. Because when you cook, you have to be like, I think I will make this for me and that tastes good. And yes. Then, yes. Okay, I think exactly. I will share it. And then yes. people don't want to pay you for it. <laughs> and that's the <laughs> first <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's the nicest thing someone has said about your design? People, they are, sh they are, they are shocked. I mean, they, are, they, they can't believe it was made from concrete. Because mm. most of them, they say, oh, is it, is it marble? You should let them hold it. Yeah, this is, is so it, heavy. Is it, yes. is, it, is, it, is, it, is it clean? They said, no, it's made from concrete. Okay. And then they, they want to know more yeah. about it. And then we explain it. 
in the easiest way to understand. <laughs> yeah. And yes. Then they, and then from there they will start to buy. Then they start to follow us. Yeah. And then they start to wait for our catalog. Yeah. They start to wait for our new design. Yeah. And and one one of the other things to add is that the color. Yeah. They couldn't believe like is this concrete? It's pink. Yeah, the soft yeah. pink. Yeah, the soft pink, and now we have like blue and also the pastel green. Yeah, and that, that was what attracted me because I I came across your your products at Montsen. Ah yeah. yes, yeah, so yes. I was like, oh my oh, goodness, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I, I need all of this. So I was just there like arranging them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my cousin was like, okay, we gotta go. Nope. <laughs> we gotta go. Nope. <laughs> so yeah, the color really attracted because yeah. many little many I mean very little people know that. Oh, it comes many colors. Yeah. Yeah. What they know is only the grey yeah. one. That's yeah. it. Grey or white? Yeah, that's that. But it's so just say it's been like an education process for people. Exactly. From the material itself, the color, the design, and everything. It's just like educating people. Yeah. So that's why the sale was quite slow because it's a new material, you know, and people never seen it. Yeah. But now it's picking up. It's picking up yeah. very well. And it's expanded in terms yeah. of our product uh, design, functionality, yeah. and also the target market because now people can take it, submit. Because sometimes our customer does the thinking for us, yeah. which is very good. They tell you what they want. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You yeah. ask us, can we do a calligraphy on yeah. this one? Please come up with that one first. Yeah. When we do and we post, then many other people yeah. ask the same thing from us. Okay. So that's very, very cool in terms of the meeting here. Well, that is brilliant. Okay, yeah. describe your dream home okay. and then uh, tell me where your favorite product fits into it. Okay, how many minutes do we have for this? Uh, I can go all day long. Let's, 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 let's keep it short. Keep it short. Everybody have a dream home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, and then we, start, we, can, we can talk. Okay, how about that specific room in that dream home where the product will fit? Alright, okay. Okay, let me start with the general one. So, so, so we are looking, not we are looking at, but our dream home is a modern farmhouse oh, yeah, that, that, that sits probably uh, at the sea cliff mm. with a farm with animals oh and all that. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we have the, the nice view of the sea yeah. and the cliff and all. Uh, on the interior side, we are looking at the same modern farmhouse, but plus a bit, little bit Scandinavian mm, yeah. because it's more modern. So with this kind of arrangement, I think ours can fit everywhere. Yeah, we even thought about it. Oh, we need concrete lamp here and there. Oh, wow. there, and there. Concrete lamp? Yes, yeah, we, we do have one right now, concrete lamp. And also we are thinking like, okay, I want to make a herb garden. Oh, wow. So I want to customize all my baskets. Okay. I don't want to buy. So things like that. So it fits everywhere. Wow, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your favorite product right now? Like your your personal favorite. What's your personal yes. favorite? I, I know it's like playing favorites with kids, but I you gotta pick one. So you cheating one? one yes, no, okay, no, you gotta pick one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so my personal favorite will be the tray. The tray? Yes, the rectangle uh, tray. Yes, okay. the catch-all tray we call it. And any specific color or style? Uh, the marble ones to be to be precise. Very classic. Yes, and I have like five of them on top of my dressing table. Okay! So one for my watch, one for my makeup, one for my moisturizer and all. That's a very big dressing table. Yes. <laughs> what about you? Yes, for me, I, I most really the visited to the first part. Hmm. The, 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 the secure part. Yeah. So this is a very sentimental value for me. I like that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that one. This is our, one of the, our first products. Yeah. So it's first one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, very quickly, let's wrap up. Why don't you tell us if you have any advice for a new artisan starting out? Like, and any, what's the one thing that you should know if you're an artisan and you want to start out? Uh, all right. So for us, based on our experience, the journey is not easy. Yeah. Yeah, but it's always that you need to believe in yourself. In yourself, and it's really really fun yeah. to embark on this adventure if you really go for it and focus for have it. Have a passion. You have a passion, passion is for important. it. Yes, and also when you love your product in design, yeah. others will love it as much as you. Yeah. So if you really do it based on your passion, so it will show in your product rather yeah. than you just wanted to make some money. Yeah. I mean I mean it, it's like really psychological but people can still feel it. Yeah, people can feel it. Yeah. So I hope people say you can always feel when something was cooked with love. Exactly. Or, you can tell or just for money. Made with love. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. And we, we, 
one of the things that we always uh, stay true to is that we do what we love. We do what we love and the money is us. Okay. Yes. That's amazing. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you, Emily, for having us with us. Yeah. Thank you. Today.